Hello guys on YouTube. How are you guys today? Well, I am doing uh, pretty good myself today. But today's vlog for you guys today, we're going to be testing out these new style hanging hooks for your petrol frames. They're called uh, drywall and plaster hanging hooks without using a stud. By the way, on this side of my wall, I do actually have a stud, but on this side of my wall, I do not have a stud. But a disclaimer, make sure if you're going to be using these type of hooks, make sure you stay away from your electrical wiring behind your wall. That's important because you may accidentally short out your electrical system in your house. You do not want to do that. Well, let me uh, show you what these hooks are. I got these uh, down at Walmart. I don't know if these are going to be heavy duty enough. These support only up to 40 pounds of weight, but uh, they're not the greatest hooks out there. I like using nails or screws to make sure I actually have it completely fastened uh, to my wall. Take a look at that picture on how that picture actually is. And what it does is this hook goes in the wall and it hangs by the little hooky dewey on the top. But it does give you some clear pictures on how to actually install these uh, crazy hooks. Now, I actually have one of them out of the package and I'm going to be testing it right now. You guys can see, it's the hook. You drive this end into the wall. You kind of use your hand and you kind of hold it like this and you just poke it. And you find that sweet spot and it'll look like kind of like this and your wall. Okay, it'll look like that. That's kind of nice. Now, the biggest problem, what I have, I'm going to be testing a couple of frames and to see if it would be the best ideal to hold a very heavy petrol train. Now, I have two puzzles. And in my room, I want to actually hang. Now, I have the, the original puzzle. What is this one? That's my 911 puzzle. This is not that heavy uh, at all. This is a little bit lighter. But the one I'm going to show you is the most heaviest one out of all of my pictures and artwork hanging on my wall right now. I'm going to show you which one's the most, biggest one. This one right here, guys. This is my biggest picture frame I'm going to try to hang on my wall by using these hooks. But I don't think they're going to work for my picture frame at all. But I actually tried it, tested it. Don't mind all the um, hanging uh, screws up there and holes up there, but that's going to be covered up by the picture frame itself. But, let's get on to testing out this little hook. Don't know if these are going to work here, guys. I don't think these are going to be the best idea to hang heavier objects of your picture frames. Well, what you got to do is I'm going to come down a little bit low versus up higher like I did the last time. So I'm going to poke it right here, okay? i got to use my a lot of my hands. I'll use my pull body weight to actually start twisting and poking this in the wall. Now, of course, <clears throat> these are plaster and drywall. Now, these are the hardest to get in now. <laughs> Trust me. There we are. You see, I have it in here right now. And all I do. As you kind of bend it, twist it, you gotta have to make sure it's up weight. And it can be quite tricky, here, guys. It can be quite tricky. These things are coved for a reason to go in the wall. Now, sometimes you may have to use your hand a bit to actually pop it in. Now, notice the hook's a little off. But that's okay. I'm not worried too much about that. 
I just don't want to keep making a thousand little holes <laughs> in my wall of uh, trying to where to actually put this hook. It seems to look pretty good right here. Looks good. I guess. I don't know. These are the, uh, new to me. I don't really understand how these can really work for you. I don't recommend buying these. I recommend using your studs or ankles <laughs> in, in your wall. That's what I recommend doing because that's what I used to use all the time. But now, we're going to go. So we're going to take this guy, my heavy or or not heavy pitchable, and I'm going to hang this directly on the wall. And you got to make sure you hook it. Make sure the wall is supporting this picture frame. And make sure you got it all even. And I'm going to let go. And it's not coming off the wall. And that's what's a very a nice uh, with this uh, picture frame hook. Different styles of hooks you can actually use for hanging up your frames. Like this one. Or even if you want, you can use your big old frame, like this one, if you want to. Uh, it's your choice, guys. You can hang this style of a frame up on your wall. Now, how easy are these things uh, to go on your wall? Uh, again, all you do is you just push them in your wall by using your hands. So I don't know if you guys can see that. There's the instructions, it tells you, right there, on how everything can be put in the wall. These are called grill hooks. And I don't think that they're really the best idea to actually use for hanging your pictures. Now, again, make sure you're or away from your studs and also away from uh, electrical wire behind the wall because if you hit your electrical wire what can happen is you can actually uh, destroy one of your wires behind the wall but using one of these is a good idea you guys can even see that but I'm actually holding it with my hand but I can actually put it on this hook right up here and this will actually stay right on the wall just like it sh I should say or what is claimed <laughs> to be. But of course, you gotta make sure you get your wire hooked on this hook itself. And make sure you're not having any problems with hanging your picture frame directly on the wall. Now, of course, with this picture frame, it actually has a, a wire right here. I put this wire on here. This actually has a couple mounting different ways you can actually use to mount this directly to the wall itself. But with the heavier picture frames, I recommend you use a stud and you use an ankle on the side of the frame that doesn't have a stud to it. Now, of course, this was something I bought, and I'm just trying it out for the first time. I don't think this is going to really work the best for me, but I think it would be better if you use your screws, your nails, or whatever you want to use to hang up your petrol frames. Now, biggest problem, now this is a inside wall. Now, if you have a brick wall behind your plaster or your drywall, you might have some uh, laying issues with these type of hooks to going inside the wall itself. But they're not very strong, the steel, but they're not very that strong for uh, 155 pounds of weight. These are only uh, max up to 40 pounds of weight. That's what I'm really worried about the most. Now, my picture frame, because this picture frame here has glass in it, and that's what I'm mostly worried about the most, is the weight of the glass 
and get destroyed by coming off the wall. Now, I literally did have a picture frame fall off my wall before, but it wasn't by osmosis. It just fell off the wall because of those little plastic tools I used to use. Now, these are designed for lightweight picture frames. Small ones, big ones, you decide and see if it's the best ideal for you. I recommend going with any, like a screw, screw, nail or stud or uh, drywall ankles, plaster ankles or whatever you want to use. Uh, just make sure you don't damage anything behind your wall, like electrical. You guys can notice I have some audio and video cables here. These are not behind the wall. These are outside the wall. But what's behind the wall, you can't actually see with these uh, types of hooks. This is us testing out the grill style hooks. These do have some caution and instructions and something to make sure you go with that. But hey, you know what? Try your best and figure out what would actually work uh, for you guys. Alright, I think I might uh, use these hooks or try a different style of a hook to see which one would be the best idea. Alright guys, if you are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, please share, peace out, bye guys, we'll hopefully see you in the next vlog.